So this is joint work with Michael Avlena, Konrad Schindler and Mark Polyface on large-scale location recognition and geometric burstiness problem. We're considering the location recognition problem where we're given a database of geotagged images and a set of query images. And for each query we would like to know which place it depicts. This is usually modeled as an image retrieval task where we first retrieve visually similar database images, fit a geometric transformation and based on the number of invites, decide whether two images depict the same place. And the underlying assumption here is that uh, the number of invites is actually a good criterion to make that decision. But it turns out that this is not really the case for large-scale scenes. So here are two precision recall curves that you obtain by varying a threshold on the number of inliers. And what you can see is that if you look at the high precision regime, then the recall drops considerably, meaning that there's actually a large number of unrelated database images that still have many inliers with the query. And the reason for this phenomenon is the occurrence of what we call geometric bursts. So those are sets of features that repeat in the same geometric configuration at multiple places in the database. So here's an example. The top uh, image is a query. The bottom image is the best retrieved database image. And you clearly see that they depict different places. Still, they share uh, say, uh, features that occur in the same geometric configuration. Here's another example where the retrieval system actually does a perfect job of figuring out that it has seen that bus before, but is completely oblivious that this st structure appears also at different places. And it's probably not what the user was interested in when he or she took that picture. Okay, so. I guess some of you are wondering whether this is really that much of a problem or whether these are just corner cases. And it turns out that actually geometric bursts are a significant problem. So in this paper what we propose is to not look at the number of inliers to make decisions but to explicitly handle geometric bursts. And simply by doing so, without actually changing anything else in the pipeline, we get a really significant improvement in performance, especially for high precision. So how do we detect and handle geometric groups? Let's look at an example. This is a query. This is a top uh, retrieved database image and the colored points denote inline features. Let's assume that we also uh, retrieve those two images taken at different places. And what you can see is that the same features in the query, images, uh, query image are inliers to more than one uh, place, meaning that by definition they have to be part of a geometric burst. The important thing here is that you, we reason about places, not about images. Because it's not uncommon that you have multiple images taken at the same place, and you don't want to rate this as a geometric burst because it's really a unique configuration to that place. Once we have detected bursty features, we downweight the influence in the hope that this upranks relevant images and downranks irrelevant images. Let's look at some results. So here's a location recognition task. Uh, we start with the method corresponding to the blue curve as our baseline, just add the handling of geometric bursts and obtain the red curve. So meaning that we get state-of-the-art results just by replacing this tiny part of the pipeline. We also applied uh, the handling of geometric bursts to an image retrieval task, where we again see a nice improvement in results. So I hope that got you interested in the problem of geometric burstiness. If you want to know more about it or details, Please come to our poster.